What's up, kids? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, guess what I just got today? Boom! Oh, delicious sweet Pepsi. Nectar of the 80s gods. But this is no ordinary Pepsi. As you can see, it comes in this awesome box and it says right there, October 21st, 2015. Yes, this is in fact the Back to the Future 2 limited edition special Pepsi bottle. I did stay up all night waiting to order this and then after whoever, I won't blame any particular website for releasing it early, I didn't get it. Uh, but Pepsi actually released a second round and just delivered these in December so I did stay up all night. Well, I didn't stay up all night because I did it at 8 a.m. but I got up early and got mine that way. So I believe there are now 6,500 bottles of these things out in the wild. I believe there was originally only going to be 3,500 bottles. So if you got the original one and sold it or didn't sell it, thinking that there were going to be only 3,500, well, tough beans. Now I believe there's 6,500 and I got one of them here. Let's unbox this thing and take a look at what Pepsi has delivered for the year 2015, my friends. So first of all, it comes in this cool box with the uh, Pepsi bottle label on the outside here. Stands about a foot tall and probably nine inches square depth and width. I know there are some people out there trying to sell the box alone. I'm not sure why you would want that, but. And then inside, is the Pepsi bottle. There's even some packaging in here to kind of keep it centered and safe. And boo-hoo, there it is. You're seeing it as I'm seeing it, Pepsi fans. Comes in this nice plastic sleeve. And voila, Pepsi. Now the thing is pretty heavy. A couple of things that I'll point out here are the fact that there is some tape that looks like it holds on this top. So you, there's two pieces. They kind of look like scotch tape pieces, but kind of clearly not scotch tape. Looks like you could take those off, lift off this top, and the Pepsi bottle would come out. There are a couple of molded in circles on the top and bottom that hold this Pepsi bottle in place. 16.9 fluid ounces, 210 calories. And it's pretty big. It's actually bigger than I thought. Um, it's probably not, I, I don't know how many fluid ounces come in a Pepsi bottle because I don't drink a lot of Pepsi, but it's pretty cool. The plastic or the acrylic is pretty thick. It doesn't flex. I thought it would be maybe a really cheap, but it's, it's not. Um, and so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, let me talk to you about the bottle itself and let me explain a little bit about the differences between this and the uh, Pepsi bottle that you saw in Back to the Future. So if you're familiar as Michael J. Fox ordered his Pepsi, it got shot out of a little plastic tube like this up into the counter and he grabbed it. That was cool. And so it kind of mimics that whole the Michael J. Fox experience. All right, on to the bottle itself. And from what I can tell here, and it may not be the easiest thing in the world to see. Let's see if we can use this as a background. The Pepsi bottle is kind of reverse shaped. It has this kind of fairly large foot, then it's narrower, kind of like the traditional Coke bottle, but then it widens and stays wide all the way to the top. A couple of differences that I saw in the movie one is one, it seems like either the foot is wider down in the, uh, in the movie version, or this part is narrower, somehow, it's, it's even more dramatic in the movie than it is here. Second thing as we go up, I think the, the bulk of the Pepsi bottle kind of starts a little later. So it gets narrow and then it starts a little higher up and stays thick really all the way up to the top. But this is just a little bit more subtle of a kind of a, a, a Coke bottle shape. Coke bottle shape, that's funny. The other thing there that I've noticed is different is that the logo is slightly different. So this is really the Pepsi logo with much more sharp edges. The design that they used on the in the movie version was kind of even a more stylized Pepsi logo. It didn't kind of adhere to the proportions quite as literally as this one does. The other thing here is Pepsi is actually in the same font, but Perfect was much wider and went along the entire 
bottom or kind of the same width as the Pepsi name itself and almost it was the same size. So I'm not sure why Pepsi downplayed the perfect on this a little bit, but they did. The other thing I noticed is that I think the label was bigger and this may not be a label at all actually. I'm kind of looking at it and it looks like it is painted on. So I don't see an obvious label, um, you know, telltale signs, but it, it, it seems like it's inked on or painted on just like kind of a regular coca-cola bottle pepsi bottle cola bottle so again like i said i think the the label though is bigger in the movie version and it's higher up in fact the top of the portion top portion of the circle in the movie is basically touching the bottom of the cap here the other thing is i think the cap here is a little lighter and less metallic it really seemed like an anodized aluminum color in the movie more probably automotive metallic paint and this is blue but there's no like metal flake it's it's just kind of like the color of a duplicolor spray can pretty close in in good work but it just it, it's not a there's no color applied to it it looks like the plastic is this color then the last thing i'll point out here is from the movie version i think the cap one because like i said it started getting wider later and stayed wide all the way to the top. Either the cap was wider or it was shorter. E either way, you kind of get the same effect, but it seemed broader in the movie version than this does. It seems a little more narrow, a little more toned down. Uh, but overall, a really cool little prop that you can have and put in your office. If you're like me of a certain age, um, Back to the Future movies were totally pretty cool. If you're younger than me, you may not have any idea what the heck I'm talking about. And actually, I'm pretty sure you could drink this. If I could get an, my hands on another one, I might open this sucker up and, and drink it for you guys. But if I can't, I'll probably just keep this one the way it is. In, in nice, pretty shape like that. Thank you, Michael J. Fox, for all your work in Back to the Future. One, two, and three. Peter Von Panda. With the Pepsi Perfect Bottle, October 21st, 2015, the day he went to the future, out!